I actually knew about Clicktail for quite a while. I checked out their demo. I installed their script on the website so everybody who is using Shopping Cart Elite is able to install Clicktail on their website and analyze their traffic. But even then, when I looked at the traffic in the next few days after installing Clicktail, I didn't really understand what I'm looking at. I'm, I'm just seeing that users come in, they browse, and that's it. There was nothing special that popped at me and said, hey, there's something wrong, or hey, this is good. So I decided to keep Clicktail and just let it run there and collect the data, and then when I have more time, I'm going to sit down on one of the weekends and really spend several hours analyzing Clicktail. And let me tell you, what I found was mind-blowing, like seriously mind-blowing. I did not expect to see what I saw using Clicktail, and today I'm going to tell you exactly what I saw and how you can use it to benefit your conversions on your website. So the first thing that I discovered with Clicktail is users' behavior trends. And the reason why I saw that this is very important because I can actually see what the users do. I can see if this is exactly what I want them to do on my website. So for somebody who is really new to e-commerce and they're not really familiar with their website, this is a really good tool for you to install and see if each page on your website meets the goals that you want it to meet. So for example, on my home page, I'd like the user to either search for their vehicle because it's an automotive website or search for a keyword or click on one of the products on the home page. And my home page did that. So the next thing was the categories. I'd like the user to actually go to the categories and browse them, not leave in the middle of browsing. Then there was the product section, which is refining the search results. I'd like the user to find what they're looking for and proceed to the product page. So everything that I'm saying right now is the goals that I'd like the user to execute on each one of my web pages as they go through the whole website. And one of the things that I saw was a recent enhancement that we did a few days ago and it was a coincidence that I decided to sit down and look at the clicktail analytics after we did that enhancement and the enhancement consisted of optimizing the product page so the user can have refined results when they're looking for their application so here's an example so on this website before there was a make model in year there was only two drop downs which was a make and then the second drop down was a model year the part number the price and the whole nine yards now on a smaller website, which is this particular one, which specializes in only a cord, that's not a problem. But if you have a general store with a lot of different products, it becomes a problem because there's too many results in the second dropdown. So we decided to make more dropdowns, which will be make the user choose their make, model, and year first, and then they can select their part number. So we wanted to refine the results. And what I found after we implemented an enhancement and started looking at Clicktail Analytics, users were getting confused that they had to first select their car, then the application. So I saw a lot of people clicking on the disabled select a part number box, not realizing that they have to go through the make, model, and year first, and then they would get frustrated and leave the website. And this was happening on every single product page. So this totally scared me, and I said, oh my god, we have to fix this. And uh, we enhanced it, so now, as you can see here, we highlighted this uh, box yellow, which basically means that this is the first step, this is the second step, and so on. And we wanted to see if that's going to fix the problem, and fortunately, it did fix the problem. So you can actually see what a little minor enhancement can do to your website. It can be a total disaster, or it can be a total success. So we enhanced this feature... We knew how to use it. We knew that you have to select your car make model year first and then the part number. And it was logical to us that that's what users would have to do when they're browsing the website. But that wasn't logical for the users. And again, I'm not blaming them. There's all kinds of people out there that may not be familiar with browsing websites or they might not realize that they have to select their car first and then select the part number. So the impulsive buyers didn't really have time to think, they were just clicking and if it wasn't clicking they would leave the website. So 
we fix this problem. And one of the things that I realized that I can now do with the websites is create goals for every one of the pages and then use Clicktail Analytics to see if my goals were met once enough data is collected. So this is definitely good news for all the Shopping Correlit users because we have a team on board that is analyzing all of the traffic data for different websites and because we all have a similar template that can consist of different graphics and different CSS styles, we are going to take care of the problem of giving the user the best experience on your website. So we're going to basically keep enhancing the website to allow the user to meet the goals that they need to meet on each one of the pages. So on the home page, they're already meeting their goal. Product category, they're meeting their goal. We just refined the product section, which gives them sort filters to refine their goal there and now we optimize the product page so the last thing now is you have to have a good price good pictures good products and they'll move on to the shopping cart and checkout etc